Barn owls are, like most owls, nocturnal, but like, uh, unlike many owls, they are probably among the most nocturnal, uh, which means that their activities and, and specifically their foraging is done at night. Um, because they are called barn owls, that gives you sort of a clue that they're a bird that do often nest in, in old barns or other old buildings, often even in cities or suburban situation if there's an abandoned building or an old church belfry or something. Um, and as a result uh, of the kinds of places they breed and the fact that they are so completely night active, nocturnal, um, there have been a lot of studies done in terms of how they're able to forage in the dark. And it turns out that, that in many cases they, they feed almost completely on rats and mice, um, but that they're capable of locating these birds uh, in almost complete darkness, so long as their ears are not obstructed. They, they obviously, their eyes are able to um, adjust to very low light conditions. Unlike a lot of owls, they have dark eyes instead of yellow eyes, but their eyes uh, are really probably secondary much of the time in terms of their foraging behavior because the ears of the barn owl along with the ears of many owls are actually asymmetrical, both in terms of their position on the side of the bird's head but the internal configuration of the auditory canals is not um, symmetrical on each side. So they're actually hearing sounds sort of in two different ways. So they're using a technique of triangulation. Basically, they're hearing a sound in one ear one way and one the other. And even if they can't see it, they're extremely adept at flying down and using their talons, because they are predators, uh, to grasp a rat or a mouse, which they will then take back and feed to the young. So they don't take uh, particularly the, the numbers of insects and snakes and other things that some other owls that do more hunting out in the open. Because the barn owls do a lot of their hunting literally in buildings or in, in sort of urban environs where the, the prey selection isn't, isn't as great. But they will forage out over open fields too. But again, in most cases, they're, they're looking for, for mice and, and even things the size of rats.